Hey everybody, welcome back to The Art of F.A. Checky on F.A. TV. Today we're going to do a different acrylic art pouring where we're going to use acrylics on a live living rose and we're going to lacquer it. I'm going to let my daughter explain what to do, but thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We just reached over 4,000 subscribers, and I'm so excited and so happy about that. And don't forget, 50% of all of our ad uh, revenue will go to charitable causes. So um, just want to tell you all about that, and I'll let Callie take it from here. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my dad, Dutton Kenneth. Today we're going to be do, putting acrylic paints on a real rose. Okay, so I don't know if you could hear Callie very well, but she said we're going to put acrylic paints on a real rose and we're going to lacquer it. This isn't it. actually real because you can yes. see the thorns. We're going to lacquer it and we're going to show you how to do it. But real quick, this is all you need. I'm like gonna... and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. So I'm going to come around. Callie, you tell people what we need. So you need acrylic paints, you need a rose and turn the card parts so you don't get on anything. And, and then you need a blow dryer to dry it. And then you need some paint brushes. Yeah, and some black acrylic paint to dip it in. And just a whole variety of colors, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. And I have really And then lacquer. Color lacquer at the end to I preserve it. I really have a good color. In and then a paintbrush just to fix it up and stuff. Yeah, just to like paint. First we're gonna dip the rose in the black paint. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. You gonna hold it with me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hold it with me. And let's see if we can just kind of hold the... You're gonna probably have to hold your um, petals, right? Yeah. It's not a very big hole in there. Well, hold on a second, Callie. Alright, now we're in there. Now, let's try to keep it from getting... All right. I'm gonna dip that all the way in, and then kind of go up and down like this. You want to make sure the petals are really. Can you go up a little? There you go. All right. Now let's just let it come out. Hold on. I can see that there's a little red on there still. Okay. So then we mentioned the brush earlier, Callie. You want to do this wherever you see any red, just dab it. Now just pull the black paint over there. Okay. Get that one right there, real good. Okay, now we just gotta let it drip for a while. I see a little. Oh, there's a little bit of red right there. Not. Okay, let me see. And then anywhere on the leaves, if you can get the paint on there, the lacquer will help a lot at the end. <laughs> I didn't choose out some. But colors. you want to pick out some colors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit there and dry. Okay, so next step, blow dryer to speed up the process. It is. <laughs> It is drying, but this will speed it up. And you know acrylics dry much faster than other types of paint. So we're going to blow dry it, but... I uh, my <laughs> We're not going to video that the whole time. It's going to take a while. I don't even know. It looks so good. Now, I picked all the colors I wanted. And my favorite color is this, this, and then this. Not this one. What colors this. are? Say the colors. What are your yeah. favorite? Baby blue, teal, dark blue, um, violet, pinkish, and and then pink and some dark purple. I don't know All if it's right. light purple or dark purple. And so what we're gonna do is these things have a little spout on them. I don't know if you can see right here. They have a little spout, right? So she's gonna just drip it all over the rose, right? Uh -huh. So what Callie's gonna do next is she's going to start dripping all kinds of different colors on here. folks just let it drip now I'm gonna hang it upside down to drip and dry and so all I did here is I rigged it 
and we'll stick it through the stem and just letting it drip and dry. Kind of a cool shot right there, actually. It looks really neat. All right, and this right here is the last step where we're gonna do the lacquering. Now, we're just gonna dip it in right there and get that rose nice and covered and Whoa. just let it drip oh, a little bit in there so and probably do one more whoa and that's what covers it what does it do Callie uh, covers it yeah so that's what covers it with a coating of lacquer that dries and will don't don't lean on there okay <laughs> all right try i gotta remind you table's unstable it's not screwed in and then we'll just hang it right here and we will let it dry and this this right here is the finished product callie's just painting her vase to put it in but that's what it looks like when it's all done. Kind of cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Boys and girls, that is how you lacquer a rose after you do an acrylic pouring. That lows, that <clears throat> the, the rose will stay preserved in the lacquer and the paint for I don't know how long, but something fun to do. And uh, if you use lacquer inside, make sure you well ventilate, make sure you put something down not to get the paint everywhere. So have an adult present, kids, if you're gonna do this project. But anyways, I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please do subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe right now. Just hit that little button down there and the bell. We are all done. And Callie just wants to say real quick, what? Hi. You're hiding behind my head. All right. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you again for watching. Say bye. Bye.